Hello everyone, welcome back to ULEARN Education Online channel. Now in today's video, we are going to see the concept of amplitude modulation and how the time domain signal is derived from its amplitude modulated wave. In the previous video, we have seen why the modulation is necessary for the communication system. Now, in brief, we know that the modulation is a process of changing either the amplitude or frequency or phase of a carrier signal varied in accordance with the amplitude of message signal. So that is a modulation. Now, one type of modulation we are going to see is amplitude modulation. Now, what is the definition of amplitude modulation? So here, it is a process in which the amplitude of a carrier signal that is varied in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of message signal. We are calling this process is a amplitude modulation. Now, the signal resulting from the process of amplitude modulation is called an amplitude modulated signal or an AM wave. And also here, the amplitude modulation, the information signal is transmitted in the form of the amplitude variations of a carrier signal. So, this is the definition of amplitude modulation signal. Now, let us see how the waveforms of amplitude modulated signal looks like. So, here, this one is the message signal which is having an amplitude AM and a frequency which is FM and here at this point there is no message signal from this the message signal is applied to the modulation circuit and therefore simultaneously when the message signal is applied the carrier signal is also applied and we are assuming that the carrier signal is having an amplitude AC with the frequency FC okay now this AM wave is resultant of modulation process now here if you observe when there is no message signal means when there is zero input signal here the modulation is not done which means the ca same carrier signal is applicable or applied or formed at the output of modulation signal okay when the message signal is applied there exists a process of modulation and therefore we are obtaining an amplitude modulated wave so this is uh, one wave based on the modulation index value now we are going to see how the time domain uh, and signal will be derived from the message signal and carrier signal that we are assuming. So, in the time domain analysis of uh, amplitude modulated signal, I am considering a cosinusoidal signals. So, the message signal I am considering is a cos wave. Now, we know that for the cosinusoidal signal, if I draw how the message signal will looks like. So, if I consider this as my M of T, okay, and this is I am considering amplitude. So, the cosinusoidal signal. So, at a cost 0, the value will be a maximum. So, I am considering a cosinusoidal signal. Okay. So, here this is having an amplitude AM and a frequency of FM. Okay. So, for this, the message signal equation can be written as M of T is equal to what is the amplitude? It is AM and I am considering cos signal. So, it is cos omega MT. So, I am returning in terms of angular frequency where here AM is the amplitude of message signal and omega M is the angular frequency of a message signal. So, if I consider the angular frequency in terms of frequency, then we have the relation that is omega M is equal to 2 pi FM. Okay. Now, simply substitute the value of omega M in this message equation, then we will get M of T is equal to AM cos 2 pi FM T. Okay, so this is our message signal which we are assuming it as a cosinusoidal signal. Similarly, I am assuming the carrier signal is also a cosinusoidal signal. So, if I draw the carrier signal that is C of T, it will be like this. So, which is a high frequency signal. So, if I draw then this is a carrier signal C of T. So, if I write the carrier signal in terms of cosinusoidal signal, so I am assuming this carrier signal is having an amplitude AC, then it is AC cos omega c t again a c is the amplitude of carrier and omega c if i write in terms of frequency then 2 pi f c so finally the carrier frequency or a carrier signal in time domain expression i can represent as a c cos 2 pi f c into t so this is the carrier signal now to the modulation circuit simultaneously the message signal and carrier signal is applied now if you consider how the amplitude waveform of uh, modulated signal will looks like so here if you observe we have to write the expression of am wave okay and uh, while deriving the expression we are assuming a cause signals uh, are taken if you observe when there is no modulation the amplitude of am wave will be ac 
okay so if there is no modulation the amplitude of am wave is the amplitude of a carrier signal when there is a modulation means when the message signal is applied then this amplitude of a carrier signal is varied according with the amplitude of message signal means here i can say that the changes in the variation of carrier signal is because due to the message signal applied so finally from this waveform i can write the amplitude of an am wave will be ac plus m of t so this is the amplitude of am signal okay so this is the amplitude of am wave which is ac plus m of t now if you write the time domain expression of amplitude modulated signal so if you consider the amplitude modulated signal time domain expression indicated with s of t then the amplitude we have obtained is ac plus m of t so if you consider both the message signal and carrier signal as cosinusoidal signal then the frequency will be equal to the carrier signal frequency which is cos 2 pi fc t so this is the expression of amplitude modulated wave now simply substitute the value of message signal in this final expression so as we know that the message signal expression ac m of t is am cos 2 pi fmt okay now simply substitute the value of m of t in s of t finally we will get s of t expression as ac plus am cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 pi fct now take the common ac then you will get ac into 1 plus 1 by ac into am cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 pi fct so finally i can write the amplitude modulated signal s of t in terms of c of t and m of t as so i can write ac cos 2 pi fct as c of t that is the carrier signal expression into 1 plus 1 by ac let us assume it as some ka which is an amplitude sensitivity we are calling it as and we can write am cos 2 pi fmt as m of t okay so this is the final expression of amplitude modulated wave in terms of carrier signal and message signal so finally the s of t expression is c of t into 1 plus ka into m of t where the ka value will be 1 by ac and the notation or on the pronunciation we are calling it as an amplitude sensitivity okay so this is the procedure how to derive the time domain expression of an amplitude signal from modulation signal and carrier signal thank you